Hello everyone, I'm Sandy Anastasi, and I'm here with my editorial video blog for July of 2021. We are entering high summer here in the Western Hemisphere, everyone. And as we do, I feel my spirits rising to meet the sun. The 4th of July, Independence Day here in the United States, is here. I feel like this is a time of rebirth for all of us. I am proud to be an American. And I'm even more proud to be a world citizen of planet Earth. I am overjoyed to be moving into a mask-free, COVID-free, humanity-being-free summer here in Southwest Florida, where I live. Hooray for us, hooray for all of us everywhere. It seems that we've made it through one of the darkest times in the history of our planet, folks. In the tarot, this type of energy is represented by the card known as the Five of Pentacles. It's a card that in the Rider Waite version of the tarot shows two people, sick and in rags, trailing one another six feet apart as they trudge through the snow, blocked out of their spiritual place of worship. No card could possibly represent what we've all been through in this last year and a half as the world was swept by plague, economic hardship, and all kinds of traumatic experiences that many, many individuals everywhere experienced. We truly have been through the dark night of the soul. The two people in this tarot card are locked away just as we were, even from their connection to their own higher consciousness. They are locked away from God. The Five of Pentacles has often been called Dark Night of the Soul. We all understand that very well now. That's where we've been for well over a year, my friends. We've all come through it together now. We've passed through that dark night. And now the sun has come out again. For some, it's already the sunny day that follows the darkness. For others, the light is just breaking now. But the light is coming for all of us. It truly is. The interesting thing about the Five of Pentacles is that it represents the low that inevitably launches a spiritual awakening. We are now seeing that spiritual awakening occurring everywhere we look. Every one of us comes here to this plane of existence with a different life plan. We're all on differing spiritual paths. Even though we come here to this world community to find and experience our journey. As we move forward into this sunny time now, some of us will be returning to former life paths and plans. But many, many, many of us are finding that during our own dark night of the soul, we've reset our internal compass. We've refocused our wants, our needs, our desires. Many of us who have lost our way have come out the other side, having newly found ourselves and our reason for being. Or at least, we have the determination now to find and do that. This is the ideal time to refocus your dreams and your goals, to revisit them, to know if you still value the same ones, and also to revisit your means of attaining them. It's the perfect moment to strengthen the connection between your higher and lower self and between your conscious and unconscious minds. We're all doing this right now. 
some consciously, some unconsciously, but we are all emerging from the darkness into the light. We are emerging from the cocoons that are giving us new birth and new life. If you are looking for help and support on your own journey, look into my Kabbalah Path Working class that I am beginning live online starting July 7th. I'm here to help if your journey requires that. If you're choosing to go it alone, take my love with you, take my belief in you with you. Know that your higher self and your guides and your angels are with you, guiding you, helping you to move into this next most wondrous part of the journey of your life. I'm Sandy Anastasi, and I would love for you to visit me right here online at www.sandyanastasi.com. If you want help on your journey, sign up for my Kabbalah Path Working, and you can do that right on my site. And while you're there, browse, because if now is a time for expanding your awareness and your consciousness, you're going to find many tools to do that on my website. Thank you so much for stopping by and listening. And I'll be back next month with another commentary. Goodbye for now.